Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free WordPress membership plugin. Using this plugin, you can create different membership plans and you can restrict the access to the website content using these membership plans. In this example, I have created three different plans, free, silver and gold. Let's consider that uh, I have a blog here and on this blog, I have six blog posts. I want to show only two blog posts to the free members and I want to show all the six blog posts to the paid members then I can create membership plans and I can restrict the content access using this membership plugin. So let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the website AR member. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. So in this video I'm going to install only the free plugin and I'll show you how you can create different membership plans and how you can restrict the access using this plugin. So let's see how does this work do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos so here i'm logged into the dashboard of the wordpress website and we are going to install the free wordpress membership plugin so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin the name of the plugin is AR member. So just search for AR member. And this is the plugin that we are going to install. AR member, membership plugin, content restriction, member levels, user profile and user sign up. So this is the free version of the plugin. Click on install now. If you want to see more details, you can click on more details here and you will see the features of this plugin. These are the features. I do have the premium version of this plugin. However, in this video, I'm going to work on only the free plugin. In the upcoming video, I'll install the premium version and I'll show you what are the features in the premium version also. So let's close it and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see AR member light. Click on it and it will go through the setup wizard if you want to go through setup wizard you can go through the setup wizard or you can scroll down and here you will see the option skip the wizard and set up manually skip the wizard and set up manually this is a video tutorial i'm going to close it now this is the manage member dashboard. This is the first option in the dashboard, manage members. Here it will show all the members who are registered on your website. So right now we do not have any members. It's not going to show you any member. Let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the website AR member plugin. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. The premium version of this plugin will cost you $69. You can create unlimited membership plan live from editor drip content support paper post so each post can be charged 45 built-in add-on support 35 external add-on support and let me show you the add-ons also if you want to create online courses they do have an add-on where you can create an online courses and sell those courses using membership plans ar member affiliate program ar member community add-on digital download whatsapp notification sms notification so all these add-ons are available this is the add-on bundle pack and it will cost you 199 dollars and the pro version plugin is 69 dollars so let's go back to website the next option here is manage plans click on it now here you will see one free membership plan is already created you can create a paid membership plan so let's click on this free membership plan and let's see what does it show this is the name of the plan this is the description and you will see the plan type is free plan then we have paid plan infinite paid plan finite and subscription or recurring payment option let's close it and let's create a new plan click on add new plan and let's name it as a silver plan and description will be this is a paid plan and here if you want to inherit the access rules of membership plan from any of these you can select that one i'm going to skip it i'll show you how to create the content access rule now this will be a paid plan finite so this will be one time charge you can also create paid plan finite option where you can charge for number of days or months or 
weeks. So let's see, I want to select 12 months. So this plan will be for 12 months and the pricing will be $10. So $10 for 12 months. If you want to fix any expiration date, you can do that also. End of term action will be remove this plan from user. So at the end of 12 months, after the end of 12 months, it is going to remove the user from this plan. You can also have grace period. You can enable upgrade or downgrade action. So let's click on save. We have created one paid membership plan. Let's close it. So we have got two plans here. Click on add new plan and let's create one more that will be gold. This is a gold membership plan. And let's use this one. So this will be $20 and infinite. So there will not be any limitation for this plan. Here you can see subscription. If you want to enable subscription, you can enable the subscription also. You can add label amount billing cycle one day, month or year and infinite or two years, three years. It depends on your requirements. Trial period. You can also offer a trial period for the subscription from transaction date. So let's go to this plan, paid plan and let's make it infinite $20. Click save. Close it. So we have got three different plans, free, silver and gold. Next option is configure plan plus sign up page. Now here we are going to create a sign up page where customer will be able to make payments. Let's see, we have three different plans. So I'm going to select all these plans and select a sign up form. So there is a built in form created already. Let me show you here. You will see the option manage forms and one built in form is already created. So you do not need to create a form for the sign up. If I click on it, you will see these fields are available in the sign up form. If you want to add more fields, you can drag and drop the field in this form. All right. So this is the form which is already created. Now in the premium version, you can create multiple forms. You will get an option to create a new form. Let's go back. So here we have selected sign up form and these are the other options. I don't think you need to make any changes here. All right. Now, first we need to create payment gateway. So right now we do not have any payment gateway here. So if I click on it, open it and let's create some payment gateway. This option is under general settings payment gateway. So you can enable PayPal or a bank transfer in the free version. You have only two options, PayPal and bank transfer in the premium version or in the pro version, you will get multiple options such as a Stripe, to check out authorize.net and other payment gateways. You can also install add-ons to enable different payment gateways in the premium version. So in the free version, we have only two options. So I'm going to enable this one here. I'm going to add some dummy information. So I'm not going to make it live. I'm just going to trying to show you how does this work. So I have added some dummy information here and I have enabled PayPal and I'm going to enable the bank transfer also. And I want them to give me the transaction ID, bank name and account holders name. These are the fields that are required in the form. Let's click on save. So we have enabled two payment gateways. Let's go back here and I'm going to click on save. So it is showing two different options here, PayPal and bank transfer. I'm going to enable both of them. Now below that we have auto debit payment, manual payment, hide current plans, hide plan selection area. If the user is already subscribed to a plan, it will hide that plan from the sign up page. We have got three plans. So I have selected three column layout, gold, silver and free. And for the payment, we have two options. So I have selected two column layout. If you want to see how does this look, you can click on preview and this is how it will look sign up gold silver free membership and this is the sign up form and these are the payment gateways and submit button. So let's click on save and you will see a short code here. So let me copy this short code and this is the home page. I want to show this sign up on the home page. 
So I'm going to add the short code on the home page. On this website, I'm using Elementor page builder. If you have any other page builder, you just need to add the short code on the page and it will show the sign up on the page. And here search for short code. So I want to add the short code only. So in the Elementor, I have the element short code and I'm going to paste the short code here. And this will show the sign up. Right now it shows it doesn't look good in the editor. However, it will show properly on the actual page. Click on update. Let's view the page. And this is how it will show. So we have three different plans here, gold, silver and free membership. And we have two payment gateways. Right now I'm logged into the website. So that's why it's not showing the sign up form. Let me open this website in another browser. So I have opened this website in another browser. I can see the sign up here now. Three different options and sign up form and payment gateway option is also available. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign up for the free membership. Uh, let me enter some details here. And I'm going to sign up for the free membership. So let's click on submit. And it says that, thank you for your payment. We will reach you soon. So the new user has registered for the free membership plan. So let's go back to website and let's go to the next option that is manage forms. We have already gone through this one. Next is content access rules. Now I want to restrict some content for the free users for the silver plan and for the gold plan. So in this case, I'm going to restrict the content access for the blog post. So let's go to the blog post here and let me show you the all posts that I have on this website. I have six blog posts here and I want to restrict the content for these blog posts. So only the paid members will be able to see some blog posts and some blog posts will be available for the free members. So let's go here and you will see the option here, pages, post categories. If you want, you can also create post categories and you can restrict the access according to the blog post category. So entire category will be restricted for free members or other paid members. Or you can select pages also or blog post. So I'm going to select post, click filter and it will show six blog posts that we have currently. So I'm going to enable blog post access restriction for all these six blog posts. Now instead of blog post, you can also create courses and you can restrict the access to the courses. AR member plugin does have the add on for the courses. Now this is users having no plan allow access. No, I do not want them to see without any membership plan. This is for the gold. Let's say gold members will have access to these two blog posts. Silver members will have access to these two blog posts and the free members will have access to these two blog posts. Now, I also want silver members to see the blog posts which are accessible to the free members and gold members will have access to all the blog posts. All right. So that is the difference between gold, silver and free members. Let's click on update rules. So we have created rule. Now let's go back here. Let's go to blog. Now here I'm logged in as free member. And you can see that I have access to only these two blog posts, the complete introduction and become a WordPress developer. If I go here, these are the two blog posts which I can have access to. So I have restricted the access to the free membership plan. So let's go to the other options first manage subscription here you can manage the subscription you will see that we have one member here which is under free membership plan it will show all the subscriptions here payment history it will show the payment history there email notifications these are the default email notifications if you want to edit these notification you can simply go to edit and from here you can change the email notification so whenever someone register to your website, it is going to send an email to the admin so you can edit that email. Let's go to general settings. These are the general settings. We have hide admin bar, hide WP login.php. So these are the pretty basic settings. You can go through these settings and if required, you can change the settings. 
this is the default currency if you want to change the currency you can change it from here payment gateways we have already gone through the payment gateways page setup so when you install this plugin it is going to create these pages automatically and it is going to map these pages automatically so you don't need to make any changes here default restriction rules so whenever you create new post it will be shown to everyone or only to the logged in members security options import exports so i'll not go through these settings let's go to the next option that is modules and you will see these modules are available the drip content coupon if you want to manage coupon you can manage coupon however this is only for the pro version all right now let's go to post and let me go to edit post here now on each blog post you will see this option here ar access rules and you can control the access for each blog post from here also so right now this blog post is available only for the gold member if you want to allow access to free members you can enable that one also once done you can click on update so this post will be available for the free members also let's go back here refresh it and you will see that the new post is added for the free member let's go to manage members and here we have one member if you want to see the details you can click on edit member and you will see the details of this member right now it has a free membership plan here if you want to change the plan you can simply click on change plan and from here you can change the plan of this user i'm going to change it to gold click ok and click save so now this member is a part of gold membership let's go back refresh it and you will see that I can access all the six blog posts which are available for the gold membership plan. So this is all about the free AR members plugin. I do have the pro version of this plugin and in the upcoming video, I'll install the pro version and I'll show you the additional features available in the pro version of this plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.